Hopefully that uh, sets the scene a little bit better. Hello! Oh, too far. Hello. Uh, welcome, if you're joining for the first time, uh, to my channel. And if you're coming here from the last video, I very much appreciate you so much. Um, that one I kind of talked a little bit more about some of the general aspects of the comic. But in this video today, I wanted to delve more into the character Robin Frey, Master Robin. In, and this is all pertaining to the comic that I'm writing, The Wanderings of Master Robin. I probably should have said that first. Anyways, uh, yeah, I wanted to kind of just delve into the uh, Robin, like who he is, what his personality is like, what his magic is, how he uses it, and like how he kind of adapts and uh, casts spells and what he does with that. Uh, I also want to talk a little bit about his family and yeah, just kind of talk about him, ramble endlessly as I do about this thing that I'm very passionate about. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So without further ado, let's, let's do it. Yay. Yay. Quintastic talking to himself in front of a camera. Yeah, we love it. Woo. Yay. History. And I want to retake this because this is bad. This is bad. <laughs> oh, I said in the last video, 30 take Andy. This is take number three. Here, measure it by how much juice I have in the glass. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. So, Robin as a person. I guess as he would describe himself, he would say that he's a magic researcher. Uh, a self-imposed magic researcher. He's not... He doesn't have a degree or anything. Um, and he just kind of loves all things magic. He just It's just like hyper fixation. That's all he cares about, wants to do, is learn about everything magic related. Um, and so he did, he, he says that he's that, uh, but now he does more of the adventuring and the exploration of the world. And this is done to learn firsthand everything he can about magic and get like his hands in the world and delve into dungeons and talk to people who have more knowledge and you get any source of magic that he can anything at all he's trying to get and so that's where the adventure comes in now he used to be a farmer his family come like came from farmers um they farm a special kind of plant called floats bloom which it's like these these little like cotton ball puffs but they get this little like bubble thing in the center and when they're ready to harvest they like fly into the air and you use like these big nets to catch them it's very cinematic and cool. I would love to show you a picture of it, but that would require me to actually draw that. Uh, maybe a later time, another day, or not at all. And I'll just say that it looks cool and you could just picture it in your mind's eye. I think that's the best way to go. But anyways, yeah, he used to be a farmer, adventurer now, self-imposed magic researcher is what he would say he is. Um, and yeah, that's a little bit about kind of who he is as a person. I think the mic was over here. So, these story. What you're gonna want to do is listen closely to what I'm saying. So, Robin's personality. It's a little not traditional protagonist mentality. He has different kind of value sets he is driven almost entirely by understanding everything involving magic everything magic related he wants to learn and understand and utilize it for I don't know, the, the benefit of himself but also to benefit others when possible he wants to understand everything involving magic because he wants to figure out the reason for why people exist for poor existence since magic makes everything, it would make sense that if you understand magic in its entirety, you understand creation, the universe, the mind, all things. And so he strives to learn that whatever way he can by interacting with people, going adventuring, 
And so that's one of the things is he has like no social anxiety, like at all. He is like, he is totally fine with talking to people and starting up conversations. It's just that he is powered and like all mainly focused on learning magic. So if someone is just like there, he's like, he doesn't really care at all. He, he, he does his own thing. But if someone has like some kind of special like magic you know, trinket or uh, item that they're wearing on them, he's like, oh, oh my God, tell me everything about you, please, please. I want to know. And so that's kind of what he does. Uh, and he wants to use his knowledge of magic for bettering people. Uh, because he he doesn't want he doesn't want people to suffer. He he wants people to be happy and healthy. But the main reason why he studies magic so much so rigorously is mainly for himself. Uh, kind of more selfish, I guess, kind of selfish desires. And so he he's not a bad person. Uh, he just has his life and his way of doing things uh, that are. A little bit more abstract compared to some of the other people and some of the other main personalities you'll see in a shonen comic. Now, I also I had filled out this. I found this character sheet by it, it was this character sheet made by it was made by um, Kapari's art. That's who it was uh, on Twitter. Uh, definitely check out their stuff. Super awesome, super cool art. Um, but they made this character sheet, and I was like, oh. I should probably fill this out. So I did one for all the four characters, but here's the one for Robin and some of the little like dots and some of the little personality things that I have filled out for him. Um, and yeah, there's some of the little details just about him. Did I say at the start of this that I, that I wasn't a 30 take handy? You can look at the juice. You can see how much is there. I'm going through it, dude. So, Robin's magical ability, uh, he tends to uh, be very unorthodox with his cast. Since he is so fascinated by magic in its entirety, he studied all ten elements. And so, often people will study maybe one or two because, how, because of how difficult it is to learn and understand all the elements, given how different they are from each other. But Robin's I would say not like other girls, not like other boys, um, but it's mainly just uh, insane what he does. And so he loves to use a bunch of different kinds of elements. He'll use his, he'll use like all 10 elements if he could. Uh, he'll switch between air or like shadow or light magic, just whatever the situation needs. He's kind of a, a jack of all trades in that sense. Um, and so one of the things with that is that he, although he'll be a jack of all trades, a lot of times he'll he'll want to use elements that don't really pan out that well. Uh, he'll, he'll definitely get the group into scenarios, into situations because he'll be really wanting to cast a spell with a specific element. And then it's like, no, Robin, if you cast Fireball in this goddamn wooden house again, it's going to burn to the ground with us inside of it. Please, please don't do that. And he's like, but what if I did? And then he does. Uh, and his intrusive thoughts are very powerful. And so he'll kind of do that with it. And so he, he's very robust with his casting speciality but he does have a, a secret technique that is going to be revealed at the end of the first arc in the uh, comic uh, so if you want to know what that is read the, read the comic so then you can, you can understand but uh, it's pretty edgy I'm just going to say it's edgy I think it's dope I think it's really cool I think it's awesome but it's it's it. It's it. So. So. Magic. Magic? Magic. 
Oh, we're halfway there. Well, oh. Living on a prayer? I don't remember. I have some hot cocoa. I got apple cider right here. Ah, that's a good cider. Been here the entire time. Dang it. So, Robin's family and his like family life is kind of up. Kind of got a lot of baggage, a lot of trauma on there. He, first of all, he has an older brother named Arc. And Arceus is, like, not a great dude. He's kind of absolute male manipulator, uh, Patrick Bateman-esque character. He understands people really well and knows how to manipulate them into getting what he wants. He's super charismatic and super conniving, but he's also really smart, and he has a lot of inherent talent with magic now when they when Arceus and Robin were younger Robin had a lot more and continues to still have more natural magical energy and ability he could do a lot of things that Arceus can't just from sheer power alone and so Arceus was always jealous of him for it and very competitive as well as very combative against Robin and that created a, a rift in a bad relationship between the two and they kind of didn't talk still don't talk as much Arceus is very kind of insane kind of he's he's kind of he's kind of psycho he's kind of psycho he's uh, but Robin of course he's like he's my brother I still love and care for him Arceus is like mm, not that he's not that but so you have you have Arceus then you have their uh, dad uh, Gundry Gundry Frey and so Gundry he is he's he's not winning any father of the year awards uh, anytime soon he's overbearing and he works as a farmer and as his dad worked as a farmer and as his dad worked as a farmer and he wanted to be a healer a doctor but he was never able to do it. He was never able to make it happen for himself. And so he put that want and that desire onto Robin and onto Arcus. But the both of them are like, no, we're not really healers. We're more just like researchers, um, adventurers. And so their dad, kind of, kind of mentally abusive a lot of times. He'll, he'll. And it's probably where Arceus gets it from, but he'll try and manipulate the two of them to do what he wants to get them to become doctors, to become, like, healers, and to help get him out of the situation that he's in uh, with the farm and with the life that he has. And so he's not... He's not great. Put a lot of trauma onto both the kids. Uh, and so, in contrast of him, you have their mother, Kiara, who she's... She's very sweet, but she basically got like a magic cancer, magic, like big cancer where she can't, she's kind of bet. She's not kind of, she's bedridden and her medical bills are incredibly expensive. And so she, she was a very sweet person and very caring for Robin and Arceus, but she was also very passive and she was also just not she's, she's I guess passive is the right word for it but when she got sick um, not only did the, the kids have to help much more on the farm but they also like had to figure out how and especially when she became really sick in when they were going to school in Arcania they had to figure out how to make money to help pay for her money her uh, health bills so that's why our, or that's why uh, Robin is currently being an adventurer, so he can get money back from the job, and give them to his mother. Uh, Arceus, he is he's doing his own stuff. I got ideas. I got story plot reasons for what Arceus is doing in the background, uh, but he's doing his stuff. And Arceus is gonna play a, a much more of a role later on in the comic, so stay tuned for that when 
he gets involved. But that's a little bit about their family and their their ties and why Robin has so much trauma, but absolutely refuses to self-assess or like dive in and like figure out why figuring figure out his reasoning for uh, his struggles and like the, he yeah he's going through it he's going through it is all I can say <laughs> family's definitely uh, they're uh, putting a lot of stress on him and his thought is to just say no nah, no nah, no nah, I'm just gonna refuse it no nah, I don't need to talk about it fine just ignore it it's fine Whatever. Fine. So, uh, I, I think I no. I started every single take with so. I don't even know what I'm talking about. My brain is starting to melt out of my fucking ears. Mm. Okay. Now, moving away from all the family trauma baggage. I think having closing statements, closing thoughts is a good segue. Just to just to be like, hey, here's all this trauma that he has to deal with. All right, don't look at it too much. That's that's enough. You don't need to look at it too much. That's a lot. Uh, let me get this back here. But yeah, so closing thoughts on him as a character. He... He, Robin is a good person. He's he's a good person. At least he tries to be. He's always not. He's always wanting to help people and wanting to learn everything about magic and learn how to be a good friend. Um, hopefully, a good brother. But I don't know if Arcus is gonna let that happen. Um, and just be a good person is what he wants, as well as have the knowledge and understanding of the universe. And so. Yeah, that's just kind of him. He's just that. He's a, he's a he's a good person, hungry for knowledge, ready to go out and get his hands dirty, adventuring and talking and exploring to get what he wants: knowledge and friendship and understanding and uh, trust. And so, yeah. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you. I, I very much appreciate you sticking through my rambling. This one, this one, I gotta say, I don't know why it was more difficult to film this one. I have, I have no idea why. I think maybe I was a little tired or something. But we got through it. We got through it. We did it. We did it together. Appreciate you uh, watching the video. So, yeah, I'm going to be posting one, a video like this on the other three characters for the comic, uh, Valen, Malika, and Keller soon probably ev like every week i might inter i might break up the weekly uploads by doing little mermy shorts uh, here and there maybe no promises but yeah thank you for sticking through watching the video and uh go watch my other videos uh, if you can show support read the comic show support that'll mean the absolute word world so thank you all right get the f out of here Bye. Holy mother. That was a marathon. God damn.